If God sent an angel to sit by your side, would you be afraid? Would you quiet yourself so as not to offend? Would your eyes be wide with fear, with disbelief? Not really. I believe in angels, and I believe angels sent from God mean us no harm. Why should I be afraid? Why should I quiet myself? Who would I offend? You need not be afraid of God's angels' mercy. He must only fear offending God himself. But if you could see the angel, you wouldn't be afraid even then? Wouldn't you shake and try your hardest not to look the angel in the eyes? Wouldn't it scare you to know that you are in the presence of someone so godly? No, not really. It would have to be beautiful, wouldn't you think? Clean, peaceful, no malice, no harm, no foul. Mercy, you have a lot to learn about God and the angels and heaven in general. God does not want nor expect humans to fear him so much that they cannot love him. Do you not see that, Mercy? Ah, uh, I would say that I do, Spirit. I would say so indeed. Do you believe you are an angel, Spirit? Do you believe that God has sent you to earth for a specific reason, or to just be interviewed by me? No, I don't believe humans can be angels or become angels. I was human once, Mercy. I have not always been a spirit. I believe angels are so very special, and that they're so unlike us non-angels, and that there is a special place for them in God's heart. Therefore, no, I do not believe that I am an angel per se, at all mercy. As for God's specific reason for sending me here, well, there surely is one, and it shall be told to you soon enough. I would have to agree with you there, spirit. It would be beautiful, though, if humans could turn into angels. It would give us something to look forward to. And do you understand? Does that make sense, spirit? But angels cannot be from Earth. Earth is too, let's say, dirty. Well, if you don't believe you are an angel, spirit, then what would you call yourself? I mean... You are dressed all in white, and you do smell of lavender and honeysuckle. You are paler than the palest ghost, and have a glow about you that cannot be explained logically. Spirit took a moment to ponder her answer. She glanced up to the heavens, then to the earth below her feet, and then back to Mercy. Mercy... If I were to say I was an angel, I would be lying. But if I was to say I wasn't, I would be lying then too. I cannot answer your question in a way that you could understand. Therefore, I will not answer you at this time. I shall consult with my Lord on how to answer you. Mercy sat motionless, brows crinkled and head sort of leaning to one side in a questioning manner. She knew that if she wasn't very careful, she would lose her prospect and the interview would be over before it really started. Spirit, I don't understand your answer, but we can just move on to another question if that's what you would prefer. Oh, yes, by all means, Mercy. Let's do. So, Spirit, when were you born? Ah. <gasps> A long, long time ago, Mercy. So long ago, in fact, that it slips my mind. The exact date. So wouldn't that have to mean that you came from God himself uh, and are, in fact, an angel spirit? No, not exactly, Mercy. It could very well mean that my spirit has not yet settled or found the light have you never heard of that, Mercy? Well, uh, yes, Spirit, I have heard of that as a matter of fact. But why would God keep you in the in-between? 